just said it is hot and we're trying to deal with this heat, but it is a little bit, a little unbearable right now. We've been out, been standing outside for maybe two minutes and I'm already starting to sweat. So this is definitely one of those days that you definitely want to stay inside. As the sun rises, Chicago prepares for the heat that is coming Wednesday. Folks were trying to get their exercise in before it got too hot. Kelly McDonald was one of them. She says she's prepared for the hot weather. Lots of water, hopefully spending most of the day inside. Um, and yeah, just doing my best to stay as cool as possible. Staying as cool as possible is going to be necessary for the next two days. Already the National Weather Service has issued a heat warning, expecting the heat index to reach 115 degrees. While it's that hot, hydrating is a must, but stay away from caffeine, sodas, and of course, alcohol. If you can, you should stay inside in the air conditioning. For those who don't have access to air conditioning, keeping the shades drawn and blinds closed with the windows slightly open will help. These are ways you can prevent the heat exhaustion or heat stroke, something folks who work outside should be on the lookout for. If you're out and working or out in the heat and you start to feel thirsty, you're probably already dehydrated and behind on your fluids. So make sure you're pushing fluids. Take as many breaks as you can. Just get out of the heat. A message that was well received by Chicago Fire. Crews bumped up this Chinatown fire to an extra alarm, bringing out more firefighters to help knock down the flames while preventing crews from suffering from heat stroke. We rotate guys in and out. They go over to where our EMS have uh, our rehab set up so the guys bring their body temperatures down and they rehydrate. Thankfully, no one was injured, but for those who are looking to escape the heat, remember the city of Chicago has multiple cooling centers that can be found by calling 311. In the meantime, the real winners are those who can chill in the air conditioning or work from home on hot days like this. Unfortunately, I have to go in today, um, but hopefully home tomorrow. And as a reminder, you can always stay cool at Chicago Public Libraries as well as city uh, citywide parts district facilities. They are going to be open and acting as cooling facilities. But the main thing that you definitely want to do is check on your neighbors and your loved ones because it is definitely a hot one today. Going to send it back to you, Jewel. All right. Thanks so much.